Yo, what's up you guys? I was just driving the car because it is fixed as you should know and I have broken down at a uh, parking lot on Capitol Expressway, the Taco Bell. I'm driving the 8.6 where I was. It overheated, spilled some coolant. I'm waiting for the tow truck driver to get here. Obviously it spilled some coolant because it started overheating. Maybe it bursted something. So, I mean, the car is fine. I might just have to put, replace some hoses or something, add some coolant. The reason why it overheated is because I didn't have the fan on. And um, I'm not sure if I told you guys this earlier, the fan that I have, it's like electric and like they have like a switch that you have to turn on and off. I just thought I was going straight home and for some reason I decided not to go straight home, go get some food, but in a drive through it's not gonna work out very well. Honestly, to me, this is like a really bunk setup. Yeah, that's my fault. I had nothing to do with the car's cooling system. That's just since that setup is like that when I bought it, uh, that's what I have to do with right now and I didn't do it and car overheated. Still got that oil leak. Welcome back to the next day. Today we're gonna go ahead and address the coolant. Uh, hopefully there's no leaks. It didn't look like any lines were busted. So we're gonna go ahead and check. So here it is. Like I said earlier, I don't see any tears or leaks or anything like that. We'll find out for sure. We're gonna go ahead and fill this up. Okay, it should be like that. I think it's gonna work. This is like a little adapter kit that it comes with a bunch of those. It doesn't seem to move, so I think it should be good. Time to fill her up. No way, it's taking all this much. Wow. Well, it's most definitely pissing it. <laughs> I just seen it piss it all right over there. One of those lines is definitely broken, and I just wasted a bunch of that coolant. Uh, we found out where the leak was, but it actually looks like this thing was so old and brittle that, um, it decided to go ahead and snap on me. This also has another piece. It's like a little pigtail. It goes into a different piece. I got the piece for the AE86. I think it should be right. Let me see. I gotta compare it to this real quick. Make sure it's good. It looks exactly like it. Mm, I think it'll work. This little piece right here. I think it should work. Oh shit. Well, not if I break it. I mean, it's a a little bit smaller not by much this little piece is just about the same exact size so i think i did think this should be fine dorman 47147 little t adapter it, it'll work it should work today we're supposed to be fixing the ae86 but even though i showed you that this piece should be good and fine uh i didn't want to use it i just decided I, I i wanted to try and be a little bit safer and you know i'm not bottlenecking uh my coolant system or anything like that i found one at napa i bought it last night it was ready for pickup today so we're gonna go over there and get it all right we're here at napa right here but like i don't understand it but i feel like napas are always in like a weird like spot like this napa is like in the like in the middle of like business park so it's just really really weird usually they're in like like retail areas but this one's not at all so it's really weird that was the smallest uh auto parts store i've ever seen this is that little part right here uh it should it should be perfect because this is only an eighth of an inch bigger here's the part this is like a napa part but it looks exactly like that dorman one that i showed you so it might be just like a rebranded dorman one napa 660 1593 but i tend to find that the dorman 471 one two should work exactly the same because it's the exact same size here it is looks pretty much the same just that these are supposed to be a little bit bigger compared to this broken ass one that's that's pretty much the same size i'll have this one for maybe just like emergencies or something i'm pretty sure this one would work i don't want to bottleneck the system whatsoever and then now it's ready to go back on the car and get connected to those hoses and put coolant back into the system so let's go all right, you guys, we got it on those little hoses. Those a little bitch. You see that little plastic piece in between the two hoses, the little pigtail on the side. To get to it, I had to get under this. We got it in, everything's tightened up. All you really needed was a flathead screwdriver that was small enough to fit in the crevices down there. And we're gonna try and do this. Hopefully I have enough coolant. I don't think I do. Let's try and do it. Hopefully we have enough coolant. If not, then we don't have enough. There's no way I have enough. I'll just put this in and then deal with the rest later. 
We're back next day. Hopefully we got enough this time. Nothing seems to be leaking, but the car is off. Let's find out, shall we? It looks like we got some coolant burning off from when it bursted everywhere. But for now, it doesn't look like there's any leak besides for the oil leak. All right, you guys, just like that. Corolla's fixed, ready to get back on the road once again. Just real quick before anybody in the comment section, if they get mad at me using uh, this, this coolant right here, I know it's probably not the best coolant to use, but at the end of the day, it's what I needed for right now. And probably within like a couple months or so, I'm gonna try and have this like engine basically rebuilt, new gaskets, new everything, because this thing has definitely some leaks. Uh, I'll probably end up just going distilled water with a uh, water wetter. Stuff's not gonna be in there forever, but uh, it's gonna be in there for now, and it should work for now. It's OEM tools, OEM tools 87009, no spill coolant filling funnel kit. I think this counts as a win. I wouldn't go to like AutoZone and get it though because I paid like 38 bucks for it because I wanted it that day. But on Amazon or literally anywhere else, you can get them for like 18, 20 bucks. The next time we're going to be able to do like a modification to this car, hopefully should be soon. We got a T3 tall short shifter coming from this car. But yeah, you guys, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Hopefully that thing comes soon so I can make another video about this car. Peace out, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.